Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, I live full-time in my SUV, traveling around, taking landscape photos, and making videos like this one. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in the office of Yosemite Valley, and today we got something pretty cool. I'm gonna be printing photos from my phone. If you missed it, about five or six months ago, I made this video comparing my iPhone 13 Pro to my Canon R5 and just seeing what I could get away with on my phone. But I wanted to take it a step further, and I wanted to see if I could print those photos and just what the results were gonna be. How large can I print those photos? I think you're gonna be really impressed. I was really impressed. So be excited, let's dive in, take a look at these photos. Before we begin, I wanna talk about the method of how I conducted this test. So no matter what camera you're shooting on, you might have to upscale your images before you send them off to print. For example, my Canon R5, the $4,000 camera in this comparison, takes photos that are up to 27 by 18 inches at 300 dpi. That means that if I print larger than that, I should upscale them before sending them off to be printed. And that's exactly what I did. I upscaled both my Canon R5 and the iPhone photos to be 24 by 36, which is the standard poster size here in the States. I did that by using a program called On One Resize, and all that does is use AI slash algorithm slash just better than just blowing it up in Photoshop, for example, up to 24 by 36, and then I sent it off to my print shop. I highly recommend anyone does this no matter what camera you're using to shoot and print photos. Out of all the images from that original comparison, I picked this photo, mostly because this is a photo I'd actually print regardless if I was making this video, and also it just has a lot of dynamics and detail in the image that we can look closer at once we print it. Speaking of sizes, I printed at 8x12, 16x24, and 24x36. These images were sent over to me from the print space, which is my main print place now, and they sent these to me for free, so thanks goes to them. Speaking of, if you are into prints or wondering how I manage prints living on the road, I'm gonna have a video coming out soon that compares all the print places that I ordered from to see which ones I like the best, and I even did a blind test of those images, so make sure you subscribe down below if you're into that. Lastly, what you're about to watch, do not do not repeat. Uh, I had to handle these images and it's one of the sacrifices that I had to make living here on the road to make this comparison and the b-roll shots that you're about to see on a windy day here in Yosemite and I would much prefer to compare these images in a nice office with no wind. So do not do this. I actually highly recommend you just take your prints directly to a frame framer to have them framed rather than you handling them yourself but again do not do this. Let's jump into the comparison. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste your time by building up the suspense and starting small and going big. Let's just get down to it and talk about the 24 by 36 image. So before we begin, I'm just gonna say that I was really impressed by the results. The detail in the image, upscaled and this large, is all there. Now I will say you will find ISO noise in the clouds, for example, or if you're looking at the mountains, they're not as crisp and detailed if you're comparing it to the R5 shot. There's noise in the light on the fence because I had to brighten those shadows up because of how dark it was when I took the image. The grass and stuff just isn't as, isn't as detailed. It's a smaller image that we are working with. And I think that everyone should expect that. Before you ever clicked on this video, you should have expected that the camera that I paid way more money for and is dedicated camera takes higher quality images than the phone does. The question, and the more important thing is, can you print these without you ever assuming that they're a phone this large at a normal viewing distance. I mean, imagine if you got this framed and there was a piece of glass between the image and the frame and you're looking at it from a normal distance. You're looking at it from two to three feet away, not getting really close in and checking all of the details that you could possibly get away with. Looking from a normal distance with a piece of glass on the wall somewhere, would you be able to tell these were taken with a phone? I do not think you would. When I was looking at the two images side by side, obviously I'm gonna pick out, okay, this one is more detailed and this one definitely has more noise in it. But when you're looking at the image from a normal distance and you're just looking at it in a vacuum, not compared to another image, it's really, really good. And if you want some tangible evidence or a way that I can describe how this image looks in person, go to your local department store, go somewhere that sells just random wall art and find a poster sized thing and look at the detail of that image. This image is way higher quality than that. And people buy that wall art for their homes all the time, even though the quality is just not as good. So you also have to remember that if you're selling prints and you're selling your art, people aren't looking at all those little details. They're not taking a magnifying glass and trying to find all the imperfections in your image. They're buying your image because they just like the image and they just wanna present it in their home. 
Now, would I, <laughs> would I take a photo like this for my phone and sell it professionally this large? No. I'm too specific and obviously I want my work to stand for itself and I want to be happy with the work that I deliver to somebody. But would I take this photo and print it for my home at this size or for my own personal use? Yes, absolutely. And I think that that's what's most impressive is that someone like me who has a ton of images that they could choose from that were taken with much more expensive cameras would still choose to print an image like this large from my phone and display it in my home. And I would say yes, that's, that's crazy. So if you're sitting here wondering, hey, can I print my images from my phone really large like this? Absolutely you can, and I highly recommend you try it. I think you're gonna be super impressed. All right, so bumping down that size to 16 by 24, we're actually dangerously close to being able to print these professionally. I think this particular photo I had to push too much that I would not wanna print this particular photo at 16 by 24. Again, I had to raise those shadows and recover those highlights in a super dynamic image meaning there was just more noise in those areas that show up more when you print really large. So this particular photo from my phone, I don't think I would sell professionally, but it is really close. So close that I think I could take other photos that I've taken on my phone and print at this size and sell them to people and be happy with it. Now, when we're talking the eight x 12, honestly, I could print this image eight x 12 and sell it professionally. I don't think that there's enough of a difference between the one that I took on my main camera and the one that I took on my phone that anyone would really notice a difference. And that's coming from somebody that I comb over my images. I make sure that every detail of any image that you can buy for print is gonna be there. I make sure that all the levels are correct, that the color is accurate to what I want it to look like, and that the print comes out exactly how I want it to look like for that final image. So for me to say that I would take the eight x 12 of this image and sell it to someone professionally if they wanted it means a lot. And I think that's a pretty big takeaway from this entire comparison. Man, what an absolutely beautiful day here in Yosemite. The sun is setting, which is a perfect time to conclude this video. And I think the ultimate takeaway from everything here is that can you print photos from your phone large, nearly poster size? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can. Would I print that size and sell them professionally? Not quite yet. But the fact that the 16 by 24 sizes are sizes I would take and print professionally and sell them to a client is a pretty big deal. That to me is really impressive considering just a few years ago, I wouldn't have taken any phone photo and printed it and sold it professionally. So I think that's the biggest takeaway and I think that you guys should try it out. Take some of your phone photos, enlarge them and see how they turn out in print. The other thing that's really exciting about all this that I didn't really talk about is just what this means for photography. It just means that photography is more and more accessible to everybody and I think that's really important because it's something that I really enjoy doing if you can't tell. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking it. And if you love the video, consider subscribing. And I'll see you again next week. Later.